Hi everyone. Welcome to our next spelling lesson. Today we're going to be looking at sounds of ed spelling generalization. So when a verb is made into a past tense, which means something that happened in the past, as in, you know, like yesterday is the past. So when it's made into past tense by adding an ed, the ed can make three different sounds, okay? The past tense is never formed just by adding the single letter of D, okay? So let's look at the first one. If your base word ends in T or D, the ED will say id or ed. So let's make a word real quick. Um, So rent, right? If you were to rent a book from the library and you're just renting it for a little bit, it would be rented. So if you rented a movie, when I say it, it sounds rented, id, right? Some people say rented. I think it really depends a lot on your, in, in your, and the way you speak. But when I say, I say rented, id, id, you hear that? It's not id though, it's, I, it's ed because I rented it yesterday. The renting happened yesterday in the past, okay? Let's do another one. Will you please hand me the scissors? Jennifer handed me the scissors. Handed. Again, id, okay? Handed. Some people might hear me saying handed. You know, again, it's just the way you speak, but handed. Okay, you guys, so these next two pronunciations have to do with an unvoiced consonant and a voiced consonant. So we gotta first talk about what that means. An unvoiced consonant is when you are primarily sending air through your mouth rather than making a complete sound. So if we do p, 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 as in jump, p, jump, Another way to think about voiced and unvoiced syllables is in an unvoiced syllable, there's no vibration of your vocal cords. Shh. Your vocal cords are not vibrating. Shh. So when you put your hand on your throat and you're talking, you can feel vibrating. That's your vocal cords vibrating. But an unvoiced consonant, you don't feel that vibration. Where if you do the mmm, g, Z, d, you can feel that vibrating. So, a, uh, b, k, d, e, eh, f, g, h, e. Do you see that? Go through the alphabet. If you don't feel your voice vibrating, your throat vibrating, that means you have a unvoiced consonant. That's why it's called, it's unvoiced. You're not using your vocal cords. That's what an unvoiced sound is. So I know I said one. Let's go ahead and make it. Jump. Jump. See, I'm not going jump -a. Okay, I'm saying jump. You hear pretty much just air coming through my mouth. All right. So if this was going to be in past tense, as in, please jump for me, we'd say, he jumped for me jump t, t. it makes a t sound like the letter t so in an unvoiced in a verb that has an unvoiced consonant at the end of it the ed is going to make a t sound all right let's let's take another look at one uh miss this just air coming through so missed. I missed my mom. Missed. Kind of sounds like missed as in a misty morning, but it's this way. Missed. We don't say missed. I missed my mother. I jumped on the trampoline. Jumped. Missed. Okay, let's do another one. What about, let's do a sh. Fish. At Camp Du Bois, we like to fish. 
Last time when I was at Camp Du Bois, I fished. Fished. Okay, the shh. That air coming through my mouth instead of necessarily a sound. D, d. You hear that? D. That's a voiced consonant. D. Where shh is just that air moving through my mouth. Let's go ahead and look at the voice consonants now. Okay, so now we're going to look at a base word ending in a voiced consonant. Like g, m, mm, z. Okay. Banged. He banged on the door. Banged. This is saying d. <clears throat> so with a verb that ends in a voiced syllable, the ed is going to say d. Banged. How about <clears throat> buzzed? The happy bee buzzed around the flower. Ended. The movie ended. End, ed, ended. Do you hear that? A d is a voiced syllable. So this one was a little bit more tricky, especially those last two. I want you to go ahead, practice them, see what you come up with, and see if you want to make your own list of voiced and unvoiced consonants. Okay, so remember, if you're not sure, put your hand on your throat, and if you feel vibrating, then you know it's a voiced consonant because you're using your voice rather than just the mouth, your the shape of your mouth in air. You know, when you go shh, you're making your mouth a certain shape and just blowing air out through it. Okay, shh, shh, shh. shh. <sighs> okay, cool. All right, guys, let me know what you come up with and I'll talk to you later. Bye.